hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make these six pieces dress so this video is more of illustration i'll just illustrate but i'll explain in detail i'll do the pattern drafting and i'll tell you how to sew it so in order to achieve this firmness you are going to use a peplum stay and a bone like you add a peplum stay from the half length downwards and then you will use a bone to hem it or a crinoline to hem it. So here is the pattern drafting video first. So from the shoulder, we're going to measure our chest line, our bust point, our under bust. Then for the half length, if your half length is 16, you will either make it 17 or 17 and a half. But I made this 16 and a half. But at least you should come down like one inch below your normal half length. Then you go ahead and roll the lines. So you are not going to measure your shoulder to hip. Just measure shoulder to bust point, under bust, half length, and then the full length. So you also mark your armhole line. And for the neck width, it depends on what you want. But I used three by four and I also marked my shoulder slant. So I'll also go ahead and label the lines. So the full length of this dress is 36. I want it to be very short. So from the center, you measure your nipple to nipple. That is 8 divided by 2. That is 4. So I marked 4, 4 inches from the, from the chest line down to the half length. And I'll also extend this line down to the full length of this gown. Because this dress is a six pieces dress, a six pieces gown. So I'll also extend the chest line by like one inch. So I will extend this dart line up to that one inch. And from there, I will mark my sweetheart neckline. This sweetheart is for the yoke. Remember, this dress has a yoke. So I am drafting the yoke right now. I want the yoke to reach the boss point. So at the under boss, I'll subtract 1.5 from the side piece then from the center i will subtract just one inch so from that under bust i will make my breast curve i'll mark my breast curve and then from the under bust as well i will extend this 1.5 line and one inch line down down to the full length of this dress so first of all i'll make my breast curve from the bust point to the under bust and and after that, I will have to extend this that line. I will have to extend this breast curve line. That is from that under bust down, down to the full length of this dress. Remember that we are making a six pieces dress. So this, this um, pattern will be three. You have one for the center and two for the side pieces. So right now, I am going to extend the under bust line down to the full length like i said i want this gown to be short so the full length of the gown is 36 inches so if you want it to be longer than 36 inches fine but the full length of this gown is 36 inches i want it to be short so you will extend that breast curve line down to the full length of your gown so after marking that you can now go ahead and cut out the that line so i'll go ahead and cut out this piece for our that so this piece that i'm cutting out right now is not needed at all so after that i'll go ahead and cut out our yoke after cutting it out i'll label the yoke so you are going to cut out this yoke on your lace fabric that is if you are combining the dress with a lace fabric so i'll keep the yoke part aside so i'll go ahead and place the center piece on the side piece you can see that the breast curve area is overlapping each other I have closed that that space so after closing it you will now go ahead and take your body measurement plus two inches seam allowance then at the waistline you will measure your waist divided by four plus two inches seam allowance so from the waistline you will connect to your bust line so after doing that from that waistline area from the half length area you will now you will now make a straight or a flat shape or let's say an a-line shape let's just assume that we are cutting an a-line gown for now so you make a very sharp a-line shape 
then from the down part of that a line you will come up by like 1.5 inches or two inches then you will slant it will curve the reason why i did this is because after joining the gown it's no longer be too sharp at that area but if you curve if it if you leave it that way and join it will be too sharp at that area but if you curve it it will come out really nice so i'll go ahead and label the center and the side so we have our center and the side piece for now that is for the front so with the help of this i'll go ahead and cut out the back pattern so this is the back i have not added my zipper allowance on this pattern i don't know if you can notice i did not add any zipper allowance on this pattern that is for the back so after marking my chest line half length and full length i will mark my dart line at the half length i measured four inches that is for the dart line and after that i'll go ahead and extend this dart line up to my chest line area and down to the full length of this gown the back part the full length is still 36 inches so you extend it from the half length to the chest line and from the half length down to the full length of this gown as well so you are as you are marking this that you are equally dividing the back pattern so the back will have a yoke and that yoke i'll cut it out from the chest line area so after marking this that line i'll go ahead and take out half an inch half an inch on each side of that dart line that is at the half length you will take out this half an inch half an inch at the half length and then you will connect it to let's say one inch below your chest line and then you connect it down to your hip line area so this place that i stopped that that should be 27 or 28 inches but you mark before you connect sha. so we are done with the dart for the back then after that you will now go ahead and take your bust measurement for the back and the waist measurement so you divide your bust by four plus two inches seam allowance then at the waist you divide your waist by four plus one inch for the dart allowance and two inches for the seam allowance then you will connect from your waist to the to your bust line then from the waistline you make your a-line shape as well but before you mark this a-line shape you have to introduce the side of the front pattern so you have to measure it you have to be sure that two of them are equal around that side area so that everything will blend so well after joining so right now i have made sure that they are equal and i will go ahead and mark my a-line shape so if you notice only the side part has this a-line shape for now so after doing that please do not forget to slant the down part so that it will look curvy a bit then you go ahead and cut out this back pattern then remember that i have not joined i've not added any zipper allowance to this back area so the reason why i did this is because i want this back pattern to have a fish line shape as well like i want it to have an a shape at the back more like a tail i don't know how other people call it but i want the center back that is the zipper allowance area to have an issue but i will still show you guys that so i am currently cutting out the back pattern i will go ahead and cut out the neckline and i will cut out my yoke as well so the yoke area is just straight it does not have a sweetheart shape like that of the front so that is it for now so we are done with the pattern so with the help of this pattern we can now cut out our fabric so if you count this you will notice that we have um six pieces though the pattern is not on full so here is the the here is the um back pattern and the front pattern so right now i will use this pattern and cut out our 
men fabric so the thing is i will use my lining i will just use a normal pieces that i have to illustrate to you guys it is very simple but i believe that you will grab i will just use a random pieces that i have in my workshop and explain to you guys so first of all i will cut out the center front so if you are folding you should fold your fabric by at least 15 inches you should fold by 15 inches so after that you place the front pattern and right now from the half length you will start adding your a shape you can see the half length from there i will extend an a shape and this a shape has to be wide you have to make it very very wide just like the way we cut our six pieces skirt so this is just the simple method you can see the from the bust point down to the half length is normal but from the half length i added my a shape so if i open this up this is how it will look like this is the center piece this is the number one piece so after cutting this right now i will go ahead and cut out the side pieces as well so i'll place my pattern for the side of the fabric then i will go ahead and cut out the neckline the boss area and from the half length i will give it an a shape so i don't really have enough fabric but if you are cutting your a shape it should be really really wide it should be very very wide so that when you join your cspc shape will come out very well and another thing is you will have to join your pieces before you add your interface you have to join everything before you add the hard gum it will help the pieces to come out very well so you can see the front and the side pieces you can see how they look so this is how yours should be looking after cutting out and your a shape should be really really wide so here is for the center back i will place my center back on this piece that i just folded and remember i have not added I did not add a zipper allowance to the back pattern but i will add it on this fabric so i just placed the pattern on the fabric and right now i will cut out the full length and i will give it an a shape the a shape will stop at the half length and then up to the neckline area then this is for the center back you can see i added an a shape to the center back as well and I, from the half length, I added my zipper allowance. So this is how the center back should be looking so that it will have the tail shape at the back. I don't know if you understand. So that is it, guys. I hope that will have the space to cut it out on the normal fabric. You guys should kindly give this video a thumbs up. I will try and make the sewing tutorial and I pray it to be detailed. So please do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Sew with Ijoma. Sew with Ijoma on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you guys and see you in my next video. Bye!